Hi, I'm Shannon Doyle and I'm the owner and principal broker here at Eugene Realty Group. And I wanted to just create a little video um, for any folks out there that might be thinking about selling their home. Uh, we get this question quite a bit and the question is, how can I sell my home as quickly as possible and get the, the top price for it that I can, you know, that the market will bear? And, you know, how, how do I know what that price is going to be? Well, so to answer that question, I just wanted to just do a quick little video um, it won't be very long, um, but just to give you a little idea, you know, of, of kind of what we put into pricing a property. Uh, so basically, to start, um, the best thing you can do is have a real estate agent come out and actually see your home, you know, take notes of, you know, the upgrades that you've done to the home. Maybe you've upgraded the kitchen or you've got a really great view or, you know, and, and sometimes it's the other side of that and maybe you're on a really busy street and so we've got to, you know, deduct for that a little bit because it's going to detract from the value. So having someone actually come out and see your home uh, is a great start and then what we do from there is we take all that information and then we try to look at all the sales that have happened in, in your neighborhood and you know as a realtor we should also be really aware of what's going on in the market in general too you know market trends and whether prices are starting to trend up or trend down or you know just kind of going flat a little bit and that'll tell us you know which direction we're going and then that helps with your pricing strategy too as you know as a market is cooling off you certainly don't want to be overpriced um, it's more critical than ever to really have it spot on so um, what we do is we look at all those past sales and also what's currently active on the market because that's your competition and if a buyer can go right down the road and get something that has granite countertops or your house that may have older countertops I'm not saying that yours does I don't have any idea but I'm just using an, an example and they're both the same price well a buyer's likely to make an offer on the one with granite countertops so um, that's you know basically it's common sense a lot of it you know when we price a home uh, so that's what we do is we're gonna pull up all the sales we're gonna talk to you about you know where the market is trending and what's likely to happen and how long it should take to sell and then we work together with our sellers to really come up with a strategy you know that meets their needs and you know sometimes we come over and we look at everything and you just decide it's not the right time to sell. You know, maybe you thought it was maybe going to be worth more and um, and you're just saying, well, you know, it's just not really worth it to sell. That's okay. You know, we're always happy to to come over and, and help you through that. You know, I became a real estate agent because I really love helping people and my entire team here is just exactly the same. So we're always happy just to help and sometimes, you know, it just gives you that accurate information so you can make an informed decision. Um, so basically, for me... Going into pricing, you know, there pricing is not just the price. Price is one piece of it, but really it comes down to the property condition. Um, you know, sometimes if you've got some peeling paint or different things like that, it might actually prevent you from being able to market the home to people that are getting a certain type of a loan. And so, you know, uh, pricing in selling your home really is a supply and demand thing. And so the more demand we can create then the you know the higher your price is going to be so um, the more people you can market it to and open it up to the, the better for sure so it might be that we could offer you some tips that would help you you know get your pool of buyers up and and get more demand going on the property which will help push the price up and sometimes that's just not realistic and it's not going to work for you sometimes you just need a quick cash sale and be done with it so everybody's in a different you know circumstance so um, you know the property condition can be part of it and making the buyer feel confident that the home has been well, well cared for and it presents really well. You know, sometimes you might have some wild colors on the wall and um, maybe toning those down a little bit, doing a little bit of decluttering and staging and some extra things can actually make a really big difference, you know, just increasing the curb appeal. Then the other part of it is our part. So, you know, working with a real estate agent that's more of a marketing expert uh, is super critical in today's market. You know, all you've all the buyers are online. Most people find their homes, you know, on some website somewhere, and then that's how they end up wanting to come and see it. You know, it's now like 1% of buyers find the homes that they're going to buy in the newspaper. So newspaper advertising is just really so outdated. So now that it's online, it's really great because 
we can get it out to all kinds of different platforms, but now the photography and the video and all those different types of things become so much more critical because as people are just scrolling through a list of homes and you've got some with just some really lousy pictures and then you've got some that are bright and clear, it just kind of pulls you in and you want to click on it, that's what you want as a seller. And again, that's just creating demand for your property. So pricing is interesting. It's not just about the price. Um, it's, a, it's a whole strategy of really presenting your property in the best light, getting it in front of as many people as you possibly can, and pricing it correctly. And you know, even in the market that we're in today, which is a pretty aggressive seller's market, where things are selling very quickly, um, we have a lot of buyers, we have more buyers than we do houses for sale, you still have to price it correctly. And so even if you, you know, if you price it and you think, well, I'm gonna test the market, and you go quite a bit higher than where the market's really at, you're gonna have so many less buyers that wanna come see your house. The, the buyers are so educated now. They're online and they've got all these automated valuation tools out there you know so they're getting an idea of what they think the value is and accurate or not it's information that is available to them so they're looking at all the houses that are out there and then if all of a sudden you know they're looking at everything and they're about 250 and you're way up here at 280 you know the buyers know if you're overpriced or not and they're really the ones that are going to set the price for your home and that's how the market is dictated so um, pricing becomes very important um, it is a strategy some folks choose to price their house actually a little under the market value and what that does is creates a lot of demand just like something being on sale a lot of people run in to get it and um, and so it creates a lot of demand and what will end up happening is you'll get multiple offers and it will actually bid up to the market value or possibly more. So um, I think working really closely with your real estate agent and coming up with a strategy for your circumstances, your home, and where you're trying to go is probably more critical in this market than any market. And, um, you know, it's it's just always interesting. You know, you've just really got to work closely with your agent and really make sure that you are, you know, getting yourself in line to go where you need to go. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if there's anything we can do to answer any questions that you have, uh, feel free to give us a call or give us a text and we'll be happy to help in any way that we can. Thanks so much.